But those are immediate prospects. What is the longer term outlook like? I think if you look back over the last 50 years, we've achieved a great deal. We've come a long way, and compared to where we were, there's no comparison. The question is, is this a forward base camp from which we will go ahead and scale greater heights? Or is this the peak from which we have to accept that at best, at best we will maintain and maybe even gradually come down and that we've reached our limits? The answer depends on you. It depends what type of Singapore you want. Do you want a buzzing cosmopolitan city or a relaxed, quiet kampong? Some people say we can afford to be just a little bit more relaxed. No need to be number one all the time. Just once in a while we'll do. But if you take that attitude, soon we'll be number two, number three, and then eventually we'll be back at the kampong level again. So I think we certainly have the potential to do better. The progress we've made in one generation has meant that what you have, what you have enjoyed in your lives, is much better than what your parents have enjoyed in their lives, in nearly every case. From where we are today, we have the resources, we have the capabilities, we have the reach to climb further and to become an outstanding city like London, like New York or Shanghai. I think the potential is there and I believe we have the motive to improve on what we have achieved. We cannot think that we have arrived, that we can't do better. We must always remain dissatisfied, always aim higher. Why do we want to aim higher? Because we want to achieve a better standard of living for all, especially for the lower income citizens. Because we want better health care for all, especially for elderly Singaporeans. We want a higher quality education for all, so that every Singaporean, every student, can develop to his fullest potential and achieve all that his talents enable him to do. And all of this requires resources, requires economic growth, requires drive and effort. 